I'm Kinkas. I'm a synth DIY guy and this is just a quickie video to show off a little bit of how cool the resourcefulness that comes with learning some synth DIY can be on a day-to-day -day basis in the studio. Look, I just got this. A friend of mine is moving and was getting rid of a bunch of old stuff and he gave me this Tama Techstar TS-206 and this Simmons SDS-1000 electronic drum kit. It's supposed to be used with triggers that you actually play, but the triggers also respond to modular trigger signals, except that they're negative, meaning they will respond to when the gate goes low, not high. So I was trying to use my BeatStep Pro to trigger beats on it, and it was frustrating because, you know, the notes would trigger, even though this thing sounds really cool, it would trigger when the uh, gate went low rather than high. So, like I was showing you guys in the op amp video, you can do a simple inverter with just a unity gain inverting operational amplifier circuit. So I quickly, it took me literally less than an hour to put this together. It's four input jacks, four output jacks, going through one TL074 quad op amp, set up so it's four inverting unity gain amplifiers so basically it inverts the gates that you put on this side and you get it on this side it's even got the decoupling capacitors and a connector that i can connect to my Eurorack system with a longish cable so it's not actually a module i made it so it's a standalone thing it doesn't take up any hp and it worked great after a little bit of troubleshooting you know Making things in strip board like this, sometimes you get like a bridge or a connection doesn't quite get made. It's not as easy as putting something together with an actual PCB. But after a little bit of fiddling, it worked, which I was really happy about. So I have four inverters now that I can use for this specific purpose, for using a Modular or the BeatStep Pro to trigger my Simmons SDS-1000 electronic hybrid digital analog drum head brain, module, whatever you want to call it. Now, this thing, it made me uneasy to have it so exposed because it's very easy to get a short. If I put this over a metal surface, for example, that would be not very good. So I really love yoga mat material for a bunch of stuff. I use it as a non-slip surface to put my equipment on. Sometimes I use it as a protective cover. I actually have some of it as... Uh, dampeners for my studio monitors and yeah i stole this from my wife she never noticed because she never actually does any yoga so i got a little bit of yoga mat material made some holes for the jacks and check it out if we can do this with one hand here we go you just squeeze it so that the uh, jacks go through the little holes i made on the yoga mat material and I also put some velcro some industrial velcro on there and just fold that power cable underneath fold this under like this close it up like with the velcro and here you have a nice enclosure for my quad inverting doodad that I can now slip this through a gap in one of my Eurorack systems, plug it in, and there you have it. You have the inputs right here and the outputs right here. So that's it. Sorry this video was put together rather shabbily, but I just got excited about this little project. And I thought it was a good example to show you people how cool it is to know how to build stuff because sometimes you need something and you can pull it off with stuff you have in your drawer.